Did you know that Albert Einstein once said, Astrology is a science in itself and contains an illuminating body of knowledge. It taught me many things, and I am greatly indebted to it. Or that President Theodore Roosevelt used to keep his horoscope mounted on a chessboard in the Oval Office. When asked about it, he would reply, I always keep my weather eye on the opposition of my seventh house moon to my first house Mars. J.P. Morgan was once quoted as saying, Millionaires don't use astrology, billionaires do. And in the Poor Richard's Almanac, Ben Franklin said, Oh, the wonderful knowledge to be found in the stars. Even the smallest things are written there, if you had but skill to read. Throughout history, wise men and women have used astrology to gain important insights into planetary changes, as well as individual purpose and relationship dynamics. Wouldn't you like to learn this powerful language of the stars? Well, now you can in this easy to understand course by renowned astrologer and the creator of Time Passages software, Henry Seltzer. Henry's software is used by both famous professional astrologers and novices alike. Unlike the horoscopes you read in the daily newspaper, to gain true value from astrology, you have to have a person's time, date, and location of birth to properly create their chart. That's why the generalized horoscopes you see in magazines are just that, general. By being able to read an astrological chart, you can start to receive specific, uncanny insights about your life purpose and talents, personality traits, and relationship qualities. By the end of this course, you will learn the basic building blocks of astrology, as well as how to read an astrological birth chart. These lessons are fun and engaging relaying Henry's teachings through whiteboard animation, as well as through video of him using actual charts of well-known public figures. Think about how useful it would be to know what makes someone tick, where they have the most natural support and talent, as well as where they are most challenged and what their areas of growth might be.